Hey you guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you some really easy things to build in Minecraft, especially when you're first starting a world. And also at the very end, I'm gonna show you something even trickier to build and a little bit more challenging, but still super easy. So I hope you find this video really helpful and let's get started. The first thing, one of my favorite things to build in a Minecraft world when you're first starting is a chest. And I know sometimes maybe this might seem like a really basic or easy thing to build, but I usually always forget how to make a chest. And you get wood from chopping down a tree, and then when you turn it into these planks, you can surround the outside of your little crafting table like this, a big circle of wood, and that will create a chest. And you can pull it out, and there's your first item. So we're gonna put that chest right here and we can put things in it and store things. And it's nice because your inventory fills up really quickly when you're first starting your world in Minecraft. Now, the next thing you can do with this chest is to add another one right next to it and it makes your chest super big and you can now store even more things in your chest. Now, the next thing I really like to build in my Minecraft world when we're first starting is a furnace. And you build a furnace a lot like building a chest, except you use a different material. So we're gonna use our crafting table, we'll click on it, and we're gonna use cobblestone instead of wood, but you do the exact same thing, you surround it and make this big circle or an O inside of your crafting area. So you pull this furnace out, and you can put it in your inventory just like that. We're gonna place it over here. And there's our furnace, our first furnace. And you can put your coal down here at the bottom. This is where your fuel goes. And then you can put stuff to smelt. And when you smelt stuff, that's like metal. So it's iron or gold. And we're gonna put that in there and it will start cooking. You can see the fire turns on and this little arrow starts loading. And then when it's all done, it will pop up over here and there it is an iron ingot and then we can pull that out and we have our first iron ingot now you can also do other things in a furnace like cook food and once you cook food then it will fill you up better and faster and it'll keep you full longer in minecraft now let's say that we have another thing that we want to use in our furnace we could put another furnace next to it and we could cook something else while this is smelting iron or we could take this out and we have to take the raw iron out of the top and the iron ingots out of the side so that it's empty. And then we can put the raw food in the top and then it will start cooking. So we could have a lot of furnaces so that we can do a lot of different things. We could cook fish, we could cook uh, steaks, we could also then smelt iron and smelt gold. But I'm gonna show you something really easy to build, although it looks very tricky, and it will help you smelt and cook food all at one time. It'll automate your furnace, which means it'll just turn it into a machine and do all of the work for you so you don't have to swap things out of the furnace. So the first thing we're gonna do is put a new furnace right here. And then the next thing that you need is a hopper and you need three of these hoppers to build this furnace machine or an automated furnace. So we can come back over to our crafting table. We can right click on it. And the first thing we're gonna do is put a chest right in the middle and then we need a lot of iron. So we're gonna take our stack of iron and we're gonna place it like this in the crafting table. And then over here, you'll see that we have this item pop up and it's called a hopper. Kind of looks like a tornado. And we need a couple of these. We need, to, well, we need three of them for one machine, but we can also double this machine. So let's build a total of six. So we'll come here and we're gonna add the wood around the outside, just like we did before. There's another chest. Oh, let's build, we need a bunch of chests actually. So we're gonna build as many as we can with all this wood. So we got seven. I think that might be enough, we'll see. And then we're gonna build a bunch of hoppers. We're gonna need more chests. We're gonna build six of these. So I'm gonna put six iron ingots around in each of these spots. And then we pull out all six of these and now we have seven. So we're gonna need more of these chests. I'm just since I'm in creative, I can press the middle button and pull this out. We're using Java, but a lot of this stuff is similar to Bedrock. So if you're in creative, you can also just get these out of your inventory. But if you're in survival, you build these with the same recipes. Okay, now let's use all of our materials to build our automated furnace. This is gonna be really cool. The first thing that we do is use a hopper and we're gonna connect it to the back of our furnace. So this is for the fuel. 
So to do that, if you right click on a furnace, it opens it up. So you have to make sure that you're crouching and then click on the furnace. And this places the hopper connected into the furnace. I'm gonna show you what it looks like if it's connected to the ground. So see this little square down here? This is connected and goes into the grass block. This one has the square on the side, so you know that the, if you put something in the hopper, it's gonna go into the furnace. So we'll get rid of that hopper. Then we're gonna place a chest on the back of this hopper. So the same thing with this, if we click on it, there's inventory that we can put up here in the top. But if we crouch and then click, we can place our chest on top of the hopper. Now this chest on the back of our furnace is for the fuel. The fuel goes in the back. So we're going to right click on the chest and we're gonna place the fuel in here. And you can see it's going down. See how the number is counting down? That's because it's going into the hopper right here. And there's one here and it only looks like there's one, but that's because it's automatically going into the furnace and filling it up. You can see the numbers going up. Now you could just put the coal directly into the furnace, but what happens if you have a ton of coal? So I'm gonna take some of this out and we're just gonna put a bunch of coal in the back. We're gonna fill it up. So imagine you're in your Minecraft world and you just have a ton of fuel and this is where you'll put it. You'll always store it in the back of your furnace. And that way, every time you use some of the coal here, it'll automatically fill up with another piece of coal. And so you'll never run out. It's really cool. Okay, so that's the first part of automating your furnace. Now you don't have to worry about your fuel. Now let's add another hopper to the top of the furnace. This is the stuff that we're going to cook. This is where we'll put it. So I crouch down and then place the hopper on top of the furnace. And then I'm gonna crouch again and place another chest on top of the hopper. So there's the second part. So this hopper is what's going to fill in the top or the things that we're gonna cook in our furnace. Now let's use the same hopper and chest to pull things out of our furnace. So we're gonna add another chest right here, and I'm gonna come around the back like this and crouch down so I can place another hopper into the chest, but look, it's below the furnace. So now we have a storage chest for the fuel. We have a storage chest for the food that goes in, the raw food that's gonna be cooked, or the stuff that we're gonna smelt. And then we also have the chest that pulls the stuff out once it's finished cooking. I know it sounds a little complicated, but let's get it working so that you can see. We're going to get a few more items. Let's get more iron. We're going to get fish. Oh, let's get raw cod. There we go. Some gold. All right. We don't need that much gold. <laughs> We're going to put a few items of each in the top. So this is where our raw stuff goes. So we're gonna put a few raw iron and see how it already pulled it in. We're gonna put a few raw cods. We're gonna do the same thing with the gold and just put a few in there. That way we can see it working. So now the first thing that we're cooking is iron. I'm gonna take some of this out so we can, so we don't have to wait as long. So it's gonna finish cooking this iron or smelting it. Then this hopper right here is gonna pull it out and it's gonna put it into the chest. That way it's all automated and it will automatically switch to the next item that we're gonna cook or smelt. So now it's working on the fish. We'll pull some of this out so that it, we don't have to wait as long. Then once it's finished cooking the fish, it's gonna switch to the gold. So let's watch. This is the last, there it goes, and it switched. So it pulled the fish out and started the gold. Isn't that cool? And this is really fun thing to build in Minecraft. It's one of the first things I build because I love going off and mining and then also hunting and you can bring all that stuff back throw it in the top chest and then you can come back later and everything is all finished you didn't have to swap it out and you didn't need a whole row of furnaces you can just use one now let me show you one more thing that you can do to make this even better so i'm going to clear out a little bottom spot here and we're going to place another chest and watch this is going to double up that chest then we're gonna place another hopper right here. So I'm crouching and then you click. Now you have another hopper under this one. We're gonna put another hopper here for the fuel. Oh, and see how this one's turned? We need to turn this furnace so that we can double it up. 
So we're gonna click that and it's gonna, <laughs> everything's gonna explode. And then we're gonna put a chest here so it's facing this way. And then we can place another chest here. Oop. We're gonna place it and click on the side of the chest. There we go. Because I clicked on this hopper, it put two small chests next to each other. But if we click here, it'll make a big chest. And now let's add the hopper up here. We're gonna add a hopper right here on top of that furnace. And then see how this one's kind of turned to? We need to turn that around. So we're gonna click over here. We need to get up higher. So now we're gonna crouch, click on top of the hopper, and then remember to click on the side of the chest. So I'm still crouching and you can click like that. And our chest is turned around backwards, but that's okay. We can still click on it and then we can add our stuff. Now let's add all of the fuel in here. So now we're gonna add all of the fuel into the back chest like we did when it was a single one. And now it's all in there. Because the chest is split with these two hoppers into these two furnaces, it's gonna cook and smelt things twice as fast. So that's why I really like building two next to each other because then you don't have to wait as long for your things to be cooked or smelt. Also, don't forget the last thing to every build is to add extra things, details to make your build look even cooler. So I just added a little frame around our automated furnace and I used stairs at the top so that you could still open the chest. And if you ever need to get to the fuel, you could just click right in between the two hoppers and you can still add stuff, even though it's behind the wall. Then I also added the little frame around the bottom just to show what it might look like inside of a, a base. I hope you found this video super helpful and even more so, I hope that you build these things in your own world. Stay tuned for more tutorials on Minecraft and our Games for Kids Hub channel and we'll see you later. Goodbye.